What up Long Beach, welcome back to your home for everything local sports, it's JJ. This video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. The proud Wilson water polo tradition was on full display Thursday at the BOP. Belmont Outdoor Pool before Wilson takes on Milliken and more league action, coach Jeff Nesmith introduces his former teammate and GOAT, Tony Azevedo, a CIF champion, national champion at Stanford, five-time Olympian, Azevedo, class of 2000 from Wilson. He is now retired and going on a world tour of events like this where people are paying their respects. And I mean, how cool is this? It's like shaking Michael Jordan's hand before playing a game of basketball. Local legend back in his own backyard, and we love it. Wilson also honored late assistant coach Latham Bell, who passed away last year, Jake Zuanich, ringing the bell before the game and then getting things going by finding Gabriel Fields for that beautiful backhand goal to open the scoring. Could have been a lot worse, but Owen Faringer made seven of his 16 saves in the first quarter for Milliken. Save a minute, sounds like a long distance steal, and he was dialed in. At the other end, 23 seconds left in the first quarter, and Colson Morrow with the left hand free. Milliken gonna beg Morrow and Steele to make it 3-1 at the end of the first quarter, but speaking of stealing, Wilson forced 20 turnovers, like you do, and classically that leads to the Bruins offense with goalkeeper Seth Seabach turning into a quarterback, and he's got options. Zuanich getting his day started with the goal on the counterattack, all kinds of time to finish that. He also had a couple nice assists, like this one to Mark Applegate, and the old one-touch finish. Oh, lovely. One of two goals for Applegate in this game, and then the pool turns into Zootopia. Zoanich with authority and team high six goals for him. Bruins take this one going away 13 2, and on this day, the winners get to put up the W's with one of the world's greats. Not the worst day to be a Bruin. Thanks as always to our sponsors, including Papalucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. Stick with us, all of your local sports coverage is always right here. Gazette Sports.com and the Press Telegram.